Hello, this TED talk comes from Berlin again, and I have um, a speaking partner today who is really exceptional, exceptional in that way that he runs creatively an agency that for the last 15 years has been named Agency of the Year. Do you know any other country, any other agency there where that happened? Philip Nielsen. So great to have you here. Thank you. How come that, that, that 15 years in, in a row you, you get awarded? There's not, there's not one reason, obviously. I think, I think, but I think if you, if so I get a general, a, the main reason is, I think, is that we've been very, very, uh, in a very distinct way, we've been trying to be different. I remember Ingvar Kamprad, who is the founder of IKEA, once said, IKEA's road is the different, the different road. And uh, he even described it as, if, they, if we ever do anything that resembles the, to other furniture companies, we have to dig into that really thoroughly because we're probably making a mistake. Yeah. And I think that's, in a way, that's been our approach as well. You have 27 partners and not only partners, equal partners yeah. that own the company. Everyone about 4%. Mm. So is, is that a part of, of the strengths of your company? I, I think it's definitely one of, the, one of the two, three things which I think has meant the most to us. And I think it's very much down to one of the founders, Sven Olaf Bodenfors, who, who founded the agency. I think he very early understood the, the importance of, of making people, people part of the business. And also, I think you have to remember that Sweden is a small country. And if you want to build, which has been our goal for a long time, to build a world-class agency out of Sweden, basically you need a large portion of the, of the talent in Sweden. And you need that talent to stay. You can't afford to lose people all the time. Maybe you can in New York, maybe you can in London, but you can't in Sweden. So I think taking people in and making them partners and making them part of the culture has been uh, fundamental. Uh, so it's, it's a people business. It's stability. Yeah. Yeah. But it's, it's also, I think, I think for us, because we said that very early, we're, we're in this for a long time uh, and this company is our career. We're not, we're not going to make an international advertising career. We could if we wanted to, but we don't want to. And if you're going to stay in a company for a long time, what do you want around you? You want friends. Yeah, yeah. You want people you really like okay. and I think yeah. that's, that's crucial. Yeah. Well, I mean, your clients, they remain with you for quite a long time. Many I mean, of them, yeah. You picked up Volvo in 1994, and, and two years later, you picked up IKEA. Mm. They're still with you. Yeah. So, mm. um, I mean, that is also unique. I mean, yeah. the average remaining time is about um, uh, five years or so, maybe less mm. these days. Mm. Yeah. Our company is a lot about loyalty.
So how, how does it work for you, for you, collaboration, maybe with other agencies, but also with adjacent services yeah. like uh, uh, entertainment and, and so forth? For a long time we tried to stay away from building a, a, a group of companies because we thought that could be in conflict with what we wanted to do, a very lean, mean machine with a clear, greedy focus. But, but we've come to realize that, that we need a group of companies around us. We have a, an excellent, really excellent design company called Happy, which are ranked as one of the best design companies in the world. We have a production company, we have a Norwegian company because we need that on the Scandinavian market, etc. So there's a group yeah. of companies and it's growing, it's yeah. growing. So that's one, that's one answer to that. And then on an international level, it's a work in progress. And the latest thing now that we try to implement is that we, outside of Scandinavia, we have uh, an associated, on, the, on major markets like, mm -hmm. like uh, Germany for example, yeah which is a very important market for us. Some markets in Eastern Europe, um, UK is always a bit difficult, but France, Spain, Southern Europe. Then we work with, a, with a, more like an action marketing agency on, on, on the local market and, and a very qualified planner. Yeah. So we find so far that that combination sort of is good for us and makes it possible for us to handle yeah. yeah. pan-European business. Yeah. If there's, if you were to, uh, to have, have to describe uh, Fosman and Boden for uh, the uh, product, how would you describe it? Uh, it's, it's, it? It's very simple. We just can't stay away from communication that makes a difference. That's the whole thing. I think we are, we become frustrated when we end up in, in, in situations where we realize that, that the result doesn't really matter. The process is what matters. But you know, I mean, I feel your, your messages are very clear, they are very single-minded. And then you either choose a demonstration, not seen before, a yeah. uh, surprising demonstration, or a surprising story, or the combination of it. Yeah. This strategy is the reason for why we've been a good agency for 15 years, but it also limits us. There are so many offices that we have to turn down especially on, a, on an international or global level, that we have to turn down because we, we just realized this would change us. We don't, we ha we don't have a, an army of account executives to send all over, the, over, all over the world. We just don't have that because we don't want it. Teams that are assigned to um, uh, the clients, they really collaborate also with others. They ask for their opinion, <coughs> you said put it on the floor and, and people can comment and, and so forth? The principle is really simple. I mean, the principle is to, to make people perform at 125% of their potential. So you hire talented people and then I think uh, by working that way and trying to get rid of everything which comes close to prestige, and if you can make people open up to other people and take, get all the input, I think they become even more brilliant. The people within a team, they craft a campaign, they love the campaign, they want to show it to the client. Do they have to go via you? No, not necessarily via me, but they have to make it public, as we say. They have to put it on the floor, physically, sometimes, you know, really, we have in the middle of the agency, we have a really big open space with no furniture, which we call the floor, hmm. and uh, the principle is that, that you make all, everything you do, you make visible on the floor, and then uh, you have to, to get other people to talk to you about it and say what they think. The ideal is that people just pop by and, and kind of talk about this, but it can happen that people are, other people are so stressed, so they kind of walk yeah. around your world. Yeah. No, yeah. And then you have to grab them and yeah. say, hey, what do you think about this? And then, yeah. so, so all the time, the, the, the principle is that <coughs> a lot of people should have been involved uh, and seen and discussed the work. So the agency so must like it in a way, or the teams also, they are happy when some people yeah. comment. And how often is then a, a piece of work taken 
away from the floor and said, okay, we, we're going to do something. Yes. Uh, all the time. All the time. All the time. Yeah. But uh, and more and more, I mean, in a way you could say that it was easier when we were 25 people. Now we are 125 people. So it's, 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 uh, it, takes, it takes that you become a little bit more formal. Yeah. So what we do now more and more often when, when, there's, a, when there's a pitch or a, a major campaign or something like that, is that we we put more or less all creatives in one room together and brief everybody yeah. because we want every, everybody to to be able to contrib contribute and if it's a complex brief if you're not if you don't know anything about it you know you can't really contribute right. and then we work usually half a day everybody works on it mm. just to get it started yeah. get a yeah. lot of yeah. input from yeah. the group already in the start yeah. And we've realized that that makes the whole process much more alive, and then people really can continue and, and you know, chip in. Yeah, but I think, I think also it's important to say that there is always a core team. It's a group of people. It's a copywriter, it's an art director, it's one of our web directors, it's graphic designer, it's, you know, like Practicing in any Practicing responsibility. Yeah. yeah. But the, the thing is that that group is responsible. That group yeah. has the last word. That group goes to the client, there is no creative, there's no gatekeeper. Yeah. The rest of the agency yeah. is, the get, yeah. is the gatekeeper. Yeah. Because I've been in the agency for a long time, sometimes people come to me and ask for my opinion. But it's, in a way, it's rare that I take a decision. If, I, if they come, I say, I say what I think, but I say, you have to take yeah. the decision yeah. yourself. Yeah. Yeah. So make people responsible, yeah. make people grow. How did the crisis work out for your agency? before Christmas last year and when we looked at the situation we were kind of worried um, and we, we saw that a lot of clients came back for a second negotiation and so we realized it's going to be a tough year mm. but we also in a way that insight also created a lot of energy and then we went out and won a few pitches and so actually now um, I can say that it's going to be one of our best years ever. Well, uh, if you take the way you've done things before the crisis <coughs> and the way you're going to do things, will there be any change? If we really decide, if we mobilize, we can create our own reality. It's easy to, to become a victim of all ugly news. and You, you, read, the magazine, you read the papers, you, you watch the news and you become really depressed and you've got to get rid of that. I mean, if you want to do great communication, you can't be depressed. It just doesn't work together. Yeah. So, so, so in a way, I think... It, it has made us uh, confident, yeah. but it, but also you should. I think it's important. You should be humble. I mean, last summer we were really came really close to losing one of our biggest clients, and we were in a pitch situation, mm. and we were pitching for one of our own clients, a really a major one. Yeah. And imagine if we had lost that client yeah. just before the crisis, yeah. and then gone into the crisis with that luggage. Yeah. I mean, maybe it could have been a different situation. So what, what did you do to keep the client? We came up with a good idea. Good idea. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> when, when is the next time uh, Agency of the Year will be announced? In spring. Spring. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Philip, I wish you well for yeah. spring. Thank huh? you very much. Uh, take it again, 16th yeah. time. And I'm looking forward, uh, everyone is looking forward uh, to have your President's Lecture tonight. Yeah, I will uh, go and yeah, make a rehearsal. <laughs>